Okay, so now we have uh, this chart, and then let's create the label for it. So unfortunately, with reader chart, uh, we cannot simply just select it and add data label because it's gonna look like this. This is not what we want. We want to see the country name, and we want to see the um, CPI data. So this is something we have to delete, and then we, we're gonna have a workaround for uh, the label. So the first thing we do now uh, is actually create two uh, helper columns. So the first one, um, I would just call it like a helper, or you don't even have to name it. Um, and then the helper is actually how much, how many degrees that you have for each of those uh, country. So we have calculated that in our case here, we have 17 countries, which means that for each country, we have roughly 21 degree. So let me just put 21 in here and then copy it down for all my countries. So even that it doesn't add up, you can see it doesn't add up to 360. It's totally fine because I, as you can see, like in a in the chart, like three degrees wouldn't really make any visual, much visual difference. So that's okay. So this is the helper chart, uh, the helper column. And then we have another column, which we are going to call it label because this is actually the text that we want to show for our label. So in order to do that, um, we need to uh, add some text. So the first thing we want is the country. And then we want to have a comma uh, and then actually a space after that. And then we want to add um, the CPI data to it. So let's see how that comes up to. Um, yeah, okay. So you see you see the problem here is that actually my raw data, I downloaded, I believe, from World Bank uh, website. And then it's not a pure uh, two, that's uh, like two, di uh, two digits after decimal point data is actually a long one. So there are two ways you can do it. So like the first is maybe you can just overwrite it here uh, to make it like 3.45 um, that it shows. Like for example, if you do that, then this is exactly the label that we wanna show, right? So you can see that's what we did for uh, here. But then Another way, if we, we do not want to change uh, the original data, then another thing that we can do here is to round our original data point uh, with two decimal points, and then that gives us exactly 3.45, which is what we want to show for our, uh, for our chart. And then you copy it down, and then this is the label that we want to show. Okay, so now what we do uh, is that you go back to the chart, click anywhere that allows you to select data, and then here is a data set in the ledger entries, click add, and then the serial name, we want to just call it label because we just use it for label purpose, um, and then for the serial value, use the helper column that we just created, the 21s. So now click OK, and then OK. And then it's going to look a little bit awkward, but don't worry, go back to the chart to design, change type. Um, for the label one, instead of radar, select the donut, select the donut chart. And then it really doesn't have to be on the second axis, but it doesn't allow you to choose. So that's fine. Just leave it and then OK it. OK, so now it's looking really weird. Uh, it's OK, we're going to fix this. So select the donor chart that you just created, uh, and then we're going to format it. So for formatting, you can either go to format, format selection, um, or you can go here and then for, um, well, select your donor chart and then go format. So either way, it brings you to the Siri option. So one thing we want to adjust is the donor hole size because we uh, we know that this is just for label. We do want our bars to show. So I'm going to change this to 75% so that um, it's outside the circle. It's overlapping a little bit, but then it's still outside the circle. Uh, and then in terms of the color, um, I want to feel solid color, 
but uh, I want something that's much less intru intru uh, intrusive. I want something that is just gray. You can see it's there and then it's showing the label and then it also supports the central chart that we want to see. And then if you click out, it's going to look like <laughs> exactly like a donut. But then I wanted to have some border um, border around so I know each so I can basically refer each country back to the bar in the center so that's why I want to create some white border so for that I click for the border I uh, go to solid line and then I go color as white and then the width um, I want it to be thicker let's say like 2.25 or even 2.5 and then now you can see that I have basically the areas I have for the label and then each label is corresponding to each bar. So you can tell that like for example this uh, this series and then I think for example this is Jordan and then it's right uh, in the middle of the label um, of the label to uh, on the background and that is exactly because for the degree we started with two um, gaps and which allows us to shift a little bit so that when we create this chart, um, it actually looks like our label in the background is just corresponding perfectly to our bars. Okay, so now we have the shape ready. How do we put in the label that we want? Okay, so now again, select uh, the donut chart um, and then you're gonna add data label. So go at, uh, right click and add data label. And then of course it's gonna show just what you have there. But what can we do here? Don't worry, just select the data label um, and then go to label options. Label options, click on the label options. And then here is showing that you can have the selection of whether you wanna show the value um, or you want to show it as something else. So here, unclick the value uh, and then click on the value from cell. It's going to ask you what you want to use uh, for the label there. And then this is exactly what we can now use as a label that we have prepared. So click OK. And then here we go. All the countries together with their CPI data, uh, data is now uh, present in this chart. And now, of course, you can format it, make it bigger, um, bold it to make it more visible. Um, and then um, to you can so this is basically the bulk of it. If you don't like the legend, just delete it. Um, and then you can also change the chart title to word CPI by country. Um, you can put it on the side. Um, and then let's say for the circle, um, we want to show that it's 2.2. We want to have a call out. So to do that, you can uh, insert a shape, um, something like a call out table. Um, and then you can put it here. Um, we can, sh I don't like it to be like colored, but you can basically do whatever you want here. So for example, I, I'm going to say world average CPI 2.2 and then I'll just make sure that it's pointing to the circle that I want. And then uh, the last thing you want to do if you find it too messy here, you can move the chart to a new sheet. And then this is basically exactly how it's going to look like. If you are interested in this kind of chart and want to know more, I actually have two additional resources that I want to recommend. Uh, one is this video uh, on YouTube that I found. Um, it is actually, I think it's in German, which I don't understand at all. But then the good thing about it is that uh, the author basically shows you how to do it step by step. So you can still follow the steps, uh, even if you don't understand the language like me. And then I think um, the good thing about it is that you can tell that it actually shows you how to do 
do two layers um, of the rose chart, uh, which I think is kind of cool and nice. Um, if you want even more advanced challenge, uh, here is the uh, is a site that I found online. Uh, it basically teaches about all kinds of different variations of this kind of chart, uh, and then they all look nice. So I think if you are interested, um, they even provide the downloads here so you can download them and figure out how to do the charts yourself. I will paste those two links um, in the description so that uh, you can have a look um, yourself. Okay, so I have spent the past few minutes to show you how to create a wing rose chart. Um, I hope that you find this helpful and uh, if you like it, uh, please uh, like like in the uh, video below and then subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.